Hi guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to do a pick a card reading on what do they really like about you or what do they like most about you? Because yesterday I did a video on who is your secret admirer, but I didn't really say what they liked about you. So in my mind, this is a little bit of a piggyback on that. So I do have three piles here, pile one, pile two, pile three. If you need another moment to pick your pile, go ahead and pause the video here. Otherwise, I'm going to jump right in with pile number one. All right, let's not light anything on fire. <laughs> Pow one, what does your person really like about you? Um, I haven't seen these cards before and I've set the intention that they all want to come out in the upright. So if I flip them over and not in the upright, okay, so, Pile one, what does this person really like about you? You are their kind of person. You're a kindred. You are soul family. Um, they feel like they have a soul bond with you. You guys have the two of cups and the three of cups. So the three of cups kind of takes precedent in the overall energy. That's why it's sitting up here at the top because I wanted to distinguish what they really liked. So I think that there's definitely a connection between the two of you. You guys vibe probably spiritually. You're interested in a lot of the same things. The connection feels easy when you're together. There's probably a lot of laughs. Uh, you guys, I'm trying to say um less, <laughs> sorry. So there's something about you that is similar but different. Same, same, but different. And there also could be something hidden below the surface with all of this moon imagery here, you guys could have some fourth house connections where it just, you feel like home to this person, but in a really refreshing sort of a way. I think that you are a person, you're very reflective, and this person knows that they can trust your judgment on things. They know that whatever you're telling them, whenever you speak on something, you have really put the time in to reflect. This person values your insight, they value your mind and they trust your opinion. If you give them guidance on something, they know that they can trust that. There's something about you that is both joyous and quiet. Almost like a just an undercurrent, you know? You're not, um, you don't have to be front and center, the center of attention, but you're pleasant to be around and you really make you brighten up a room. You make the space anyways. You are a person who I feel like you're not scared to talk about the heartbreak that you've gone through in the past. And you try to help people with that knowledge. You know, whatever you've gone through in love or what whatever has broken your heart in the past. Again, you're a very reflective person. You've reflected on that and you're bringing that message out into the world. You don't mince words, but yet you're still really loving and in order to help shed light on these issues so they don't happen to other people. Um, you're a proponent of justice. Do I have the justice card here? I'm getting that with, just, um, with the judgment card here. There's some kind of, there's, it's almost an activist type of energy with you. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. If you have... If you have been sexually intimate with this person, um, the sex is fire. They really like that. Um, also, they're very attracted to you. They're very attracted to your breasts. And there's something very nurturing about you overall. But I do think this person is highly attracted to you. I drew these cards for um, the Tarot of Sexual Magic to figure out what they liked physically. And definitely breasts... <laughs> definitely hair with the knight of wands here and the two of cups there's again there's a feeling that soulmate sort of connection between you but with the knight of wands here there's just raw physical attraction they're definitely attracted to your physical form i think you might be active you could have an active sort of a form but still have some boobies to you you know if you're a lady if you're a man they like your butt and your back <laughs> hey but yeah, if you have been intimate with this person, they think it's fire. And um, if you dirty talk to them, I didn't mean for this to be a sexual reading. So um, this is just what's kind of coming up for me. 
and yeah, they they like the dirty talk. If if that's something that you do, they also like your arms. I'm getting. So, anyways, there's still more energy of heartbreak here. So there could have been an ending with this person. Maybe they broke your heart and you actually left, and they find that very attractive. They really like that about you. Even though you've been through a lot, you keep trying. You look at endings like they're new beginnings, even though. It, but you don't deny the heartbreak of it in the in the moment. Again, it spawns your own personal growth. Cardi B, knock me down nine times, but I get up ten. There's no keeping you down. You're all about healing. You've got that perfected. You guys could have some Scorpio in your chart. Some Leo. Some Virgo. Um, there I said it again. Ah. <laughs> so the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. I feel like you're a person who you balance your emotional life with your practical life. Again, I'm seeing that you look at your life as, and the things that happen to you in your life, the connections that you have, good or bad, as a way to better yourself, as a chance to reflect. And because you've been through so much, it makes you a very empathetic and loving person. But again, there's still some, there's like that activist energy here too. Because with the Queen of Cups, I'm seeing that you you are very loving, you're very empathetic, but you don't necessarily lead with that. I feel like if you lead with emotion, it's joy. It's joy and connectedness. You're a person that reminds people that people are good and that there is joy in the world. And that even though we all go through our hard times, we can, that's, that's something that, binds us together you know and if we meet things as a community and as a collective that makes it easier on all of us you're that person and there's a stability to you it's not airy fairy or foo foo or woo woo as people like to call it not with you there's a groundedness to it again i'm seeing breasts <laughs> okay this person likes your boobies <laughs> um gosh they're just everywhere <laughs> um so yeah they're there's your there's a, a, a stre strength, but with very feminine quality. And what I mean by feminine is just those nurturing kind of qualities. So even if you're a man, um, they see you as very nurturing. And as somebody who helps somebody through their heartbreak. You're not afraid to shake things up. When things need to be changed, you're not afraid to change them. Okay, also this person likes your legs. I feel like you have very strong legs. <laughs> Sorry, I keep getting physical things mixed in with this. I, that was not my intention. <sighs> okay, what else do they really like about you? Man, there's a power to you. I just There's just such a power, and it comes from a place of reflection and swords energy. So I think you're very smart. You could actually be studied in a helping field, whether that's medicine or psychology, you have practical evidence-based knowledge in a field. That means that you're not just out there spouting, you know, love and light, you know, but not really knowing what that means or not really picking that apart or just regurgitating that blanket, you know, spiritual kind of statements. You mean it and you're able, you, your mind harnesses it and focuses on that. It, very directive, very practical, actionable steps. Things that you've learned from experience. But also things that you've studied almost in an academic sense. Or you've read a lot of books on. You have very logical knowledge that you share with the world. And so because of that, because you have the emotional and the logical, you, you're able to be very balanced in the practical world. There's something about seasons here. So I don't know if you've known this person for a long time and your relationship has gone through seasons or they like how you've evolved and changed over the years or um, how maybe this is talking about how you change with your life experience. Let me 
about that. There's also very maternal energy here with the Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Hermit. I mean, I'm just in the world. This is very maternal almost energy. Wise, wisdom, learn from experience that's made not, that hasn't made someone hard, but has made them very loving and very receptive. But also you have you have a tongue on you when you want with all the swords energy here. You're a person who would say it is not love. How is it kindness to not call something out that needs to be called out? So that's what I'm getting for you guys, pile number one. Please like, comment, subscribe if you resonate with this video. I hope to see you guys around here again. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Hi, pal too. Let's see what your person likes most about you. Okay, I haven't looked at these cards, so they, I set the intention already that they everything wants to come out in the upright, just in case that bothers people. Whew. Okay, you're a powerhouse right off the bat. Pile number two. What on earth? Okay. Dang. This person likes you, they like you a lot, and um, they like you for important reasons. We have so much major arcana energy. We've got the sun here, that's Leo. we got the tower, that's Mars. Um, we've got the high priestess. She's a little bit of everything to me because she's so mysterious. We've got the moon, we've got the devil. You are a powerhouse of experience. You are, a, you are just a powerhouse. Oh my goodness. So let's break this down a little bit. The overall energy here, because I did want to distinguish what they like most, right? The sun. You are a joyous person. You are a healing person. You're the person that lights up a room when you walk in. Uh, people feel like they like to be around you. All kinds of people. You get along with all kinds of people. People kind of track you. You have that very magnetic energy to you that's loving, that makes people smile. You could have a really nice back. You do have a really nice back. This person likes your back. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. So, yes. There's a casualness to you in a world that can be so rigid. And so because you have such leadership energy and you light up a room and people kind of follow you, you set a really nice tone that makes people feel comfortable, that makes this person feel comfortable. You are the subject of a lot of conversation. Um, you know you that B when he calls all this conversation, Beyonce. Um, I feel like you're that B, you know, that causes all this conversation. So, yeah, with the five of wands here, it's like you're above that. Where people, whatever, however you know this person, whatever group you might be in, I feel like there might be a lot of little chatty gossip, but it's because you're so great. There might be people kind of trying to tear you down with gossip. Not in a super malicious way. Well, maybe. We got the Tower of the Devil here, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, people kind of try to tear you down, but you're, you're shining anyways. And you can't be bothered with that because you only have time for love. You only have time for love. There's a quality to you that is very mysterious. And I feel like the mysterious part of you is the strength part. This person is like, you seem so nice and so joyful and so really like happy-go-lucky on the surface, but there's like a depth to you, a solid, rock solid depth to you that is cheeky almost. That's almost part of your cheekiness, right? And I do feel like you're, you're like sweet, but if somebody needs to get checked, you'll check them. And still be sweet. Look at her. Look at her face. Because the tower, right? This is Martian energy. Aries and Scorpio. This is, um, I just feel like you're so sweet. You're so nice. Everybody's getting along. People kind of trifle with you a little bit. And then you just kind of let them know. <laughs> and people are like, what? Because, you know, I'm a person like this too. Maybe some of you vibe with this. 
where if you are a person who is nice and you try your best to be a good person and people know that about you, it's almost like sometimes people think they can try to control you with that. Like, don't you want to be a good person right now in this moment? So I'm going to say something that we all know is a dig and you're not going to be allowed to say anything back because you're so nice. And you're like, um, no. And you handle yourself. You handle yourself. You handle the situation with a little bit of, mm -hmm. but you're still, still somehow keep your integrity. You're very knowledgeable. You're a person who's knowledgeable probably about the esoteric arts. I feel like um, you have a leadership position in your job or you have the potential to. You're probably very well educated. I do think that you're very career minded. You just have a quality to you that is leadership. I mean, look at all of this powerhouse energy. This is a row of major arcana. We have the sun card, leadership, Leo right? Happy, go lucky, very magnetic, not afraid to be, take the spotlight, take the lead. Then you have the high priestess. This is somebody who knows their stuff and doesn't have, doesn't necessarily have to spout it off. You're like that powerhouse in the corner, right? And then you have the devil, which is Capricorn energy. This is someone who shines in their field, someone who takes charge, someone who locks it up. This is the goat that somehow finds its way up the mountain that sees its goal, sets its goal, and is dedicated. We've all seen those memes out there lately that's like when everybody's trying to wait for you to fall but you're a goat. <laughs> that's you, you're a goat. Like in the best way. I'm not trying to call people farm animals up in here. So, hold on, me a drink. What else do they like about you? Again, I'm getting depth energy. There's a depth like that you've been through some things. You have really been through some things, by the way. Um, maybe even a bad relationship, some narcissistic abuse. Um, really, you know, tough family stuff. I don't think people treat you very well. And in a way, that that has made you a really great person because you. it's almost like you're just smarter about those situations. Um, it's made you smarter. It, it fueled your journey upward. You are such a strong person. You're like, I'm not just going to take this. I'm going to become some kind of a leader. Here's my resonate with oh, pile one. Hmm. You could have very delicate, very fine features that this person really likes. Uh, they could like your, I think I already said that, your back, your breasts your chest, like stomach, abdomen area, and your hair. I was not really intending to get a ton of physical stuff. I pulled these cards to see what they like physically about you. With the moon card, this is cancer, right? This is chest, torso, energy. Um, it's also secretive. And again, we have like that kind of reserved energy with the high priestess. So it's like you're very sexy, very magnetic. I'm getting that here with the tower. Scorpios kind of have that similar vibe. And so do Capricorns, where it's like uh, they're the sexy that you give off is very uh, mysterious, you know, but power, but still powerhouse. And I'm getting that energy from this pile. You're a very creative person with the night of chalices and the moon, the sun. You have a ton of creative energy here. Um, and if it's not outright being artistic, which I think a lot of you are, then it's you approach the way that you approach life and your journey is, is artistic. There's that phrase that is, uh, the real artist, their art is their life or something like that. The, the art that they're creating is their life. That's you. There's something kind of childlike about you. Even though there's ton, all this powerhouse energy, you still manage to be really lighthearted, very childlike, definitely spiritual. You take that very seriously, but not too seriously. You know what I'm saying? You got a good balance with that going on. You don't always show your deepest emotions. It's kind of hard. This person knows that you have them, but you don't always show them. You don't wear your heart on your sleeve necessarily. You might have with this person, though, like in private, and they found that very attractive. Because this person can somehow see the way you handle yourself in public versus private. 
So I think that's what I'm getting for you guys, pile number two. Thank you for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe. Let me know what resonated. I love hearing from you guys. So, ah, my channel's still pretty new and I'm trying to build it and all of your support really helps and counts and keeps me going here. So thank you so much, pile two. Pile number three. All right, just so you guys know, I have set the intention for any cards that come out to be read in the upright. I haven't read these yet, so some of them might be flipped. All right. Pile number three. So what do we got? We've got... Scorpio, Aries, Taurus, Libra. Interesting. There's an interplay of... Oh, strength. That was good. weird. Um, I've got strength and Queen of Pentacles over here. So Leo as well. One, two. Tons of fixed energy. So... You are a strong person, basically. You're not somebody to mess with. You, with the judgment card here being up top, you march to the beat of your own drum. You have your own value system it might um, that makes you stand out in a way. It's like you're strong and feminine. I'm getting this energy for a lot of the other piles, so if you were drawn to any of the other piles, honestly, that might it, you might want to check that out. You could be very musical. You could, you're a free spirit, but you're strong. Yeah, I'm getting that, you know, you don't just have blanket societal values. You've really thought to yourself, what are my values? And you go after that. And you kind of don't hear, it's not that you don't hear people's criticism, obviously. But you are just, you know that that's how you're going to live a happy, fulfilling life. I think this person finds you cute, but also intimidating and sexy. Oh my gosh. Um, with the death card here, clarified by the five of pentacles, I'm getting that, I got this for pile number one, I think too, but hard times transform you. You you whatever serves you this is again echoed with the eight of cups here and the emperor this is clear as day in this pile that whatever if something needs to be let go of because it's not serving your highest good you're gonna let go of that thing you are going to follow your own heart and your own spirit you could have um some a contrast but like really dark hair and really pale skin or something like that this person really likes that about you um, big lips I'm getting, like kind of fuller lips. They really like that. You might have kind of a stoic face. But it's like this person sees your determination in that. You're not a person to be emotionally manipulated. You know, even when you have that feminine energy to you, it's like, People sometimes think that they can manipulate the feminine nature in someone, you know, with the emotional things, but you are, you're not like that. If it's not serving you, you're, you're going to walk away. You have the ability to make very strategic, lifelong decisions based on your long-term goals, things that you want for yourself. You could be pursuing some type of artistic endeavor um, over the, the long haul. And you have a very magnetic nature to you, and this person thinks, finds that very attractive. You have, like, almost that star quality to you. You could have be very close to your family. This person could really like your family. There's something about tradition here. But like you march to the beat of your own drum. Despite tradition, it's like there's a good balance with you in that way. Maybe you're leading people in some way to live a happier life and you have wisdom to share. Just on being a human, 
just don't like you know it's not not anything lofty not anything really pretentious or gauche but something like just you have a lot of knowledge to share on just being a human being and doing that as best you can I feel like there's almost there's a good balance of masculine and feminine energy within you male or female and it it makes you different. It makes you strong. Hmm. There's a lot of fives here. So, it's like you look at the world in a very realistic sort of a way. But yet, you are still set on you know there's a place for you and that there's a place for all of us. So you're set on helping people find themselves. And you're doing that. You might even realize that you're doing that, but that's how this person sees you because you're living by example. You are a protector. You're a safe haven for people. Yeah, you're a safe haven for people. You're not afraid to challenge tradition, I think. And you get down to like what the heart of traditions are supposed to be. And so then you can kind of challenge where you think traditions might be hurting people, something like that. This person could like your feet. <laughs> they could like your profile, like your arms I'm getting. Your shoulders. Hmm. Again, I think there's something kind of stoic about your face. Or there's something... Um, uh, jarring's the wrong word. There's something about your coloring or your appearance, you have some kind of like a standout type of a vibe. Kind of like the really dark hair with the really pale skin. Or maybe you have blue eyes and black hair. Or there's something about like the juxtaposition to you. Have very symmetrical features. This person likes that as well. And I do think you're very spiritual. This person just picks up on that you're very spiritual and it that makes you different. So that is what I'm getting for you guys, pile number three. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I do still have a, a very new channel and so all of your support really helps. I'm trying to get all these videos out for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again.